Hello everyone, Hamoud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and in this video tutorial we will learn about XPath access. Many find XPath access confusing but it is simple, easy to understand and use if you have clear understanding of the term access. So what is access? Access are nodes relative to the current node. So the major term here is relationship with respect to the current node. Let's understand this with real time relationship example. I am Amol and I have my parents, a mother and father. My parents also have their own parents. So the parents of my parents are my grandparents. I have four siblings. One is elder and two are younger and also I have a child. So here whatever relationship I explain that is with context of me. The similar concept we have with the access. In any HTML document we might have multiple nodes related to each other. Now why do we need to use XPath access? So we have many use cases in which we can use and one use case I have already explained in my last video where I explained traversing or independent or dependent XPath. For example, if I say you give me the price of this product. So here product name is independent but this price is dependent on this product name. So I need to locate this product name first and then I need to traverse to get the product price. Similarly, if I say give me all the product names whose price is 2097 then I need to locate this price first and then I need to navigate in such a way that I can extract the product name. So in all these two scenarios I need to traverse backward and forward. So sometimes traversing might be difficult if we have multiple nodes in between. In those cases XPath access will be very useful. Here I have created a simple HTML page and let me open this page in Chrome. By looking at the browser you might not understand anything here. So I am going to simply inspect this page. So basically we have many access. So the first one we are going to cover here is parent access. So if you want to get the parent of current node then we can use parent access. Let me show you the example. Under this parent div we have another div with the id child. So let me inspect this child div first. So I am going to write simple xpath with the id attribute which is highlighted here now. I want to get the parent of this child. So I have already covered to get the parent of any current node I need to use slash then two dots. Automatically will reach to the parent of the current node. If you do it again slash dot dot will get the parent of parents. You can see body is highlighted and if you do it again it will highlight the HTML. So this way we can traverse in backward direction. But this is not always good if we have a long list of ancestors. Because if they remove or add new ancestors your XPath will be unstable. So it is better to use XPath access. So we have parent access. To use that use slash then give the access name which is actually parent itself then two columns and uh, give the tag. So the parent of this div is this div. So I can use div. So it is highlighting now and here you don't want to pass the div then you can use star. I don't bother what is the tag. I just want to get the parent and like any XPath we can use id attribute. So use square brackets at id and value is parent. Now if you see carefully for this child this div is parent and the parent of this div is body. So body will be parent to this div but grandparent to this div here and HTML will be parent of this body. So if you go up in your relationship they will be called as ancestors. So if you want to get the ancestors of the current node then we can use another axis called ancestor itself. So ancestor use colon and let me use star first. So you can see total three wave elements are found and if you do enter it will highlight all three parents of div where id equal to child. If you don't want to find all the ancestors you can mention the tag name. I just want body ancestor. I don't want others. So I can use two columns and pass the tag name which 
body so it is highlighting only one web element we have one extended version of ancestor here if you want to include yourself also in the range then we can use ancestor or self for that use ancestor hyphen or hyphen self and let me remove the body tag but i am going to use div it says that give me the ancestor or self if they are div so you can see the parent of this div is highlighted and also if you press enter it is highlighting the current node also but suppose i pass the tag name as body then it is going to find only one web element because the self or current node is not body now let's see another axis called child so i am going to locate this div first where id equal to parent let me copy the id value and paste it here and remove all other things let's see the basics first this div has three children one p and two divs first kid has no children but second div has their own children like p and div so if you want to get the all children of the current node then we can use child axis use slash then use child and use two colon and put the star as of now just to see how many web elements it is finding so you can see it has found total three web elements let me go one by one so first one is p hit enter second child it is highlighting and hit enter it is third child now i don't want all the child i want only p then you can pass the tag name now if you want to get all children of current node including grandchildren then we have another axis called descendant so let's replace child with descendant two columns use star to see the web elements found so here you can see it has found total six web elements let's see who are they so first one is p that is obvious because that is the direct child of dev hit enter second child is highlighted hit enter it went to the child of child so this p is highlighted which is child of this dev hit enter it went to the second child of this child and so on you can see div also has child so it is highlighting that as well so descendant will give you the children and grandchildren of current node if you want to include yourself in the list then we can use descendant or self so i'm going to use descendant hyphen or hyphen self so now you can see it has found total seven web elements because it has included current node also we have another axis called preceding if this div where id is child and i want to get all the nodes before this current node then i can use preceding axis so let me quickly locate this child div using xpath and i want to get all the nodes before this child node then i can use slash preceding colon and let me use star so you can see it has found total three web elements first one is head hit enter then title and hit enter it is p which is third web element please note that it has not found this body and this div but these two web elements are also coming before the current node if you see this body is closing after the current node which will be at the bottom similarly this div where id equal to parent it is also closed after the current node that's why it is not highlighted by preceding it is looking for the nodes which are closed before the current node in the same way if you want to get all the nodes after the current node then we have another axis called following so let me replace preceding with following you can see it has found 22 web elements and first one is this div we have current node here after this current node also we have other nodes but these are not highlighted why because this following will give you the nodes after closing tag of current node so this is the current node and this is closed here so the opening tag and closing tag are two important points to be considered while using preceding and following axis now we have two more important axis called preceding siblings and following siblings so this body tag has many children so if you get this node where id equal to sibling 2 as a current node and if you want to get all the siblings before this before the current node then we can use preceding sibling and if you want to get 
all the siblings after the current node then we can use following siblings let me show the example i am going to locate this div where id equal to sibling 2 which is the third child of body now i want to get all the siblings before the current node so we have one sibling and second sibling so before the current node we have two siblings so to get that we can use colon receding hyphen sibling colon colon and star so you can see it has found total two elements first one is the first tip and hit enter it is highlighting the second one similarly if you want to get all the siblings after the current node then use following you can see it has found total seven elements and first one is just after the current node if we hit enter it is highlighting the second one so we have covered all important access which we can use with xpath if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone